Patrick with the Kentucky Gun Company. And as you see, this is, many of you guys know, this is a Thompson Center Compass. This is by far our biggest seller of the uh, centerfire rifles. This being the most popular uh, rifle that we have, we had some guys asking for some extra options. One of the cool features on this rifle, it does come with a threaded uh, barrel. And guys were asking for muzzle brakes. So we start to look at muzzle brakes. And muzzle brakes, you know, for a centerfire rifle are typically pretty expensive. You know, you're going to start somewhere in the $150 to $250 range. And we weren't really satisfied with that price point. So we went out and we had some muzzle brakes machined ourselves. Uh, we, and then we coated them in Cerakote. But what we wanted to show you today, because we had a lot of questions, we get a lot of emails on this, is how effective is this muzzle brake? You know, you guys are selling it for $74.99 what kind of muzzle brake is going to perform decent for $74.99 on a center fire bolt action rifle. So let's test it out. So this is nothing scientific, nothing uh, mind blowing. All we did was just take a uh, fold up uh, plastic table. It's got a smooth finish on it. We took a uh, Caldwell matrix rest. This does have some little rubber feet in three different locations, two in the front, one in the back. So it does offer a little resistance. If you swing around here you'll, on the front, you will see a, a piece of tape. We're going to, this is nine inches. We're just, again, you guys are seeing it as we're testing it out. So it's, it's a nine inch piece of tape. We're going to pull it right to the nine inch mark. This is a 6.5 Creedmoor. We have it taped down to the rest. You know, we don't want to, we, we want that, all that energy to go rearward. We want to go as, you know, felt recoil. So as if you were holding the gun down, holding it with a forearm. If we didn't put the tape on, it would probably flip up quite a bit more. But obviously a lot of times when you're holding it with a forearm, you're going to be holding it down. So it's kind of what we try to mimic with the tape. Again, this is not 100% scientific, 100%, uh, I don't know, te technical, but uh, I think we're going to get the point of how well this muzzle brake works. 6.5 Creedmoor, this is probably our number one seller. This in the 308, 30 odd six is a close second, but 6.5 Creedmoor is hot this year, so we decided that we was gonna shoot 6.5 Creedmoor. We have the muzzle brake off, and today we are shooting, this is American Eagle 140 grain, just standard um, factory ammunition. I'm gonna put my ears on. And again, we're not going to do this with the muzzle brake. We just want to do it without it. And we're going to see how far the rifle and the rest travels back. Get all this stuff off the table. All right. One in the chamber, safety off. It is up to the tip of that little line there. And we're just going to pull the trigger. So, I'm going to empty the chamber, nothing in the rifle, travel back roughly nine inches, and we're going to mark it with a piece of tape. So the front of the leg came to right there. All right, again, chamber's still empty, magazine's still empty. We're going to thread on the muzzle brake. Again, these uh, compass rifles come pre-threaded. We're going to get rid of our tape measure. We're going to move our rifle back up to the line, right at the nine inch mark. Again, we're going to use the same ammunition we just used. And my hope is, with the muzzle brake, this is where it came to before. We hope it stops uh, considerably shorter than where it did without the muzzle brake. So here we go. It's even, everything's nice and even. All right. Chamber empty, gun empty. So remember it went back nine inches before, and now it's roughly five and 5.4 inches, almost five and a half inches. So it definitely cut out some felt recoil. We always said it was gonna cut out roughly, you know, we, our guess was about 30% and we didn't really have a, uh, a way to measure it. And I don't know if this is really the proper way to measure it, just the easiest and cheapest way we could come up with on a moment's notice. But uh, 
I think it's pretty conclusive. For $74.99, you could get your 6.5 Creedmoor and put the muzzle brake on it for $74.99 and can have considerable amount felt recoil less. Put that muzzle brake on a 308 or 300 wind mag at 7 millimeter, it's going to make a considerable difference. You put it on some of the smaller calibers that we have, you know, we even have them for the 243, uh, it's, it should be almost no recoil at all. So there you have it. If you uh, ever had any questions about how our muzzle brake performs, now you see it.